Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Other Side of the Firewall podcast, where we talk about those movers and shakers of glass ceiling breakers, those people of color have made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Shannon Tynes. Ryan Williams isn't here today. Hopefully you're not disappointed because he's out there enjoying himself. You know what I mean? So he's enjoying himself. We're here to help you enjoy yourselves, too. All right. So this week I got with me Chris Abacon. What's going on, everybody? And Daniel Acevedo. Hey, guys. Wait, when's... Here it is. I got a little... A little heart. There we go. A little double heart for you guys on a Friday. A lot of love. So everybody that's watching, you you see the love that Daniel is out there giving you, all right? So today's show, this is the Friday episode. Uh, This is where we talk about everything, right? Movies, books, games, media that we've we've taken in this past week, right? Anything else fairly interesting, you know, we bring it up today, you know what I mean? So hopefully you tuned in to the other episodes this week. So Monday's episode was a North Korean fake IT worker. Tuesday's episode is how Russia linked malware uh, cut the, the heat to 600 buildings and over 100,000 people. The discussion this week for Wednesday um, is uh, CrowdStrike losses may be bigger, uh, bigger indicator of uh, how the cybersecurity insurance uh, uh, market is going to go, right? And we talked about how Warren Buffett may or may not be helpful to the cybersecurity uh, industry, right? So we had some, we had a, little, a, a couple of different, differing opinions on that one, which makes, which makes for a good podcast. It was a very good episode. Uh, I, I enjoyed it, you know? Um, now we're talking about everything else, right? Like what's going on? Like I said, movies, books, games, media, all that good stuff. So let's do it this way. We're, we're going to start a little bit differently. Usually I start. Daniel, let's start with you on this one, man. How was, yeah, how was yeah. your week? It was good. It was good. It's getting hot out here. We uh, went down to Tokyo to visit uh, some of her family. A lot of her family is born in July, including my daughter. Mm-hmm. So okay. we like celebrated like everybody's family at a lunch. Well, it's like four, four birthdays, I want to say, or five. So that was fun. But where I live in Japan is like a coast city and they live in Tokyo, like city, Mm -hmm. city. So man, it is like 10 degrees hotter over there. So it was like (laughs) close to a hundred every day we were out there. I literally got, yeah, I got cooked. It was so hot. So I was like sweating. I thought I was going to pass out and actually not funny, but when we were leaving on Sunday to come to the train from her mom's, uh, the closest train station that where she lives at. There was like fire, fi- like fire trucks outside on the street, and there was like a bunch of people like gathered around, and everybody was looking up. And I was like, I told my my wife like, let's keep walking because I don't know, want to know if it's someone that's trying to jump mm-hmm. or I don't know what's going on. And you know, we ha- we're with my daughter and she's four, so when we got around the corner, we we're a little bit farther away that we can we looked back. It was actually a window washer. He was still strapped in, but he was passed out. So mm. I don't know if he passed out because of the heat or what happened, but yeah. it was insane. I was like, Jesus, hopefully, you know, they get this guy down and he's safe and he can, you know, it's just like a, like a funny story one day. But what I mean, he was out, like his face was pressed against the glass sideways. It was like pretty, pretty wow. scary to, to, to see in, in real life. But that's not fun stuff. But, you know, we had a great time with the family. It was, it was a really good week overall. Let's see, media, our rhythm in our house is getting a little bit better. So we were able to put my kids to sleep a little bit sooner. So me and my wife could actually like sit down and watch some TV together. I actually bought a right. TV also, Tony Bravia. I'm sorry, Ryan. I didn't get a 95 inch <laughs> like you wanted <laughs> or the hundred and something. I, I'm a normal human being. So I went with it's a such gentle an American just, thing to have a 90 inch TV in your house. Right. It's it's such like, an American. Gosh, he was like, I should have got the 105 or the 90 something. I was like, and put it where outside. Like I got a gentleman's, <laughs> a gentleman's 55 inch. There it's not go. it's not about the size sometimes it's about the quality all right so <laughs> uh, it's and sony bravia makes really good tvs and good. everything on that like i've watched anime on it now and we watched uh we got into tokyo vice we finished out the first season and it just looks beautiful on that tv and that show highly recommend the last episode was a little bit of a disappointing last episode i don't know i've seen better last episodes even though i know this is the second season but kind of like left left you wanting a little bit more and not in the sense like of a cliffhanger, kind of just like you didn't give me enough meat and potatoes here. I feel like you could have done a couple of different choices with like how they did something in the episode, but I won't spoil anything. I, I recommend people watch it. If you like the detective drama kind of stuff, you'll enjoy it a lot. Um, and let me see, anime wise, nothing like crazy. I'm hitting up a couple not really well known ones that I've just found on some forums. I'm enjoying the animation though. It's really pretty. Oh, I will say I went back and I watched this one anime. It's called Vinland Saga. 
Really good. Vinland Saga is the good. Fr- yeah, very the good. The first season, the first season is very, very action oriented. And the second season is very slow. But <sighs> it's very slow. If you like dramas, the topics it hits on are as deep and kind of like emotionally like like awing as any like TV drama. So I think that's why it was hard to I like watched half of it and I kind of left it left watching it where it actually gets really, really good. And then I saw some like scenes on like social media and I was like, oh, I need to go back and finish that. So my wife went up Friday uh, to Tokyo before me, but I had to stay in work, obviously, because we like to eat and I need money. So, <laughs> and since it's so hot, right, it's so hot in Tokyo and in Japan in general that when I got, when I get out of work, it's around five o'clock. And if you try to go on the trains, it's rush hour. Just, like just YouTube. Yeah. 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 YouTube, YouTube japanese rush hour like the trains how it is and watch the videos of how these people like pile into the trains they literally will like turn their backs and push people through the doors just to get in i'm not i'm not kidding it is frightening so think of that in like almost 100 degree weather i was like i'm gonna come up on saturday morning sweetheart because i'm not i will i will i'm gonna choke out some japanese people like if they start pushing me in the the trains (laughs) fucking like i i don't have that i i'm not a buddhist I'm not a pacifist, <laughs> especially not in 100 degree weather. I don't think I can control myself. Like I'll just come when it's chill the next day. So like I kind of binged it on Friday night and it's like I watched the first episode. I was like, oh, it got better. And then I kept on watching and watching and I was like, it was really good. Really good. Really emotional. Almost cried a couple of times. Not really, but maybe a little bit. It, it was it, it, it was good. It was, it, it's, it's really good storytelling. It's storytelling at its, at its best. So, And that's about it. I try to... Like get into Final Fantasy again. I booted it up, and then it was kind of late, and I was like, you know what? Let me just go to sleep and just read some stuff on my phone, and just passed out. But yeah, that's about it. Like work, work. I'm settling in. I'm enjoying it. I'm kind of getting my feet wet, understanding like what tools I have to my disposition to do my job, like who does what, how I tie in, and kind of that sort of thing. And just yeah, just getting the day to day life in Japan, and just enjoying every moment of it, and seeing my, my my wife and my kid happy. So that makes me happy. It means the world to me. So, what do you? What do you, uh, go ahead, John. What were you gonna say? So, so real quick. So, like the weather that you're experiencing over there in Japan right now is that unseasonably warm, or is that the norm over there? When I was in Japan, I, remember, I was young. I was like four years old, so I was a kid playing outside, just enjoying everything. I don't remember. I just know. googled it. It says excessive heat warning, Japan. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, know. I think ninety nine on Monday in in Tokyo. Wait. Yeah. What? Yeah. I'm so happy. Y- Yokosuka is a lot, a lot, a lot. Like uh, milder, it's like in the high 80s. I don't know. So I will say one thing. I think it's just hotter everywhere because my mom's in Puerto Rico, and I'm looking at the weather in Puerto Rico and what she's telling me. So it was like 90 or 100, but the real feel was like 127. Mm-hmm. When I was growing up, it wasn't that hot. It was hot, yeah. but I went back two years ago. I, I could. I was dying. I was literally. I couldn't breathe. That's how hot it was. This is like one of the is hottest it? years on right. This has yes. to be one of the hottest. It's just like extremely hot mm-hmm. this year. Two, yeah. day, two two days this year broke its own record, like for the hottest day on earth. <laughs> like, you know what's crazy? Yeah. Like yeah. we had some of the coldest days. Like I think this past winter for Florida, I was it was so cold. I'm like, damn, this is nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. but now it's like, oh, this sucks. This is the hottest. The hottest. Yeah. Hey, hey, Earth, you're drunk. Figure yeah, stuff out. Exactly. Figure <laughs> your yeah. Go Not back right. home, Earth. I don't like La it. Nina, I don't like El Nino, it. whatever. Go away. Both of them. I want normal Both of them weather. Go home. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, Chris, what about what, what about you, Chris? What you do this week? What you get into? Uh, I mean, really, really light week for me on the media side. Although some good manga is out there. There's a recent chapter of My Hero Academia. They're they're finishing right the series. I think there there might be one or two chapters left in My Hero Academia, but. The anime is just catching up to the latest action yeah. from the latest season. So it's that's exciting. We're really looking forward to that. So I've, I've been really catching up on that stuff as well. I'm a, I've am been reading One Piece since I was like 15 oh, wow. years old. So I've been reading... Actually, okay. probably, probably I've been reading One Piece since 2002. Right? So that's been... That's how long? More than two, yeah, more than 20 years, right? But um, yeah, latest chapter. There's a break this week because of... Yeah, I think there's a... The, uh, the way Japan, it's some type of holiday. I'm not sure, but either way, uh, each there was Oda. yeah, there was a there was a there was a holiday a couple like I think a couple weeks ago or something yeah. like that. Or yeah, well, it's probably one like coming that. up. You're right. Break this yeah. week, but it's it's looking like One Piece is it's coming to its its last saga, right? So that's really finally. 
Yeah, I think so. They did, you know, they did this whole thing where like, oh, these are final players in in the, you know, for the battle of, you know, whatever. You know, it just yeah. kind of like stereotypically anime stuff. But I'm yeah. just excited it's finally there after so many years of being a fan, yeah. right? I think we're finally seeing the end. Even though I'm thinking we've got another like five years, still it's like it's Probably. still the end of it. Yeah, me, I mean, like I think three or th- three to four years, maybe. Probably five years, actually. We'll see. But I don't know. I mean, he's still they, he's still got to cover um, a lot of a lot of things, and you know, a lot of mystery. Put a bow, yeah. Put a bow on a lot of stuff. It's funny yeah. like, how One Piece is one of those animes where, like, Dragon Ball in the U.S. is like heavily, heavily popular, but One Piece kind of never really broke through. But here in mm-hmm. Japan, One Piece is like humongous. It's like yeah, it's also super big pop- in Europe too. Yeah, like it. Oh, really? Really? Po- yeah, absolutely. I'm I'm a huge One yeah. Piece fan. I, I just think from the yeah. world building perspective, action it's it's yeah. up there right i mean the thing yeah. is it's it's not like i understand why it's not really popular in america because it's it's fairly long right you have to it's invest too a long. lot of time <laughs> yeah. yeah and you have to like really understand the characters and the world so it, it's I a very really old anime too like to get exactly. into it now it's kind of hard because the animation style and the drawing it's just like it's hard to look yeah. at and it's very slow and yeah I, I i got into it over here i was never really a big fan but it's so popular yeah. here when i lived here before I was like, well, there's like a thousand episodes. I might as well start now and eventually I'll catch yeah. up. And then, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, but what's cool is when they got to a specific arc of like recently, the animation just became incredible, right? Oh, Somebody's, it's beautiful it, now. It, it, it's yeah. like unreal animation. So yeah, I really like the, the, how direction of that's going as well. But other than that media side, actually, uh, I tuned in, was it yesterday or two days ago? The Olympics started. So I yeah, saw the opening yeah. ceremony, which was needless to say, very interesting, right? People have their opinions on the opening ceremony. You know, they have some political opinions. You know, some people may mm-hmm. have or may have not been offended, but it, um, I just see it as it, it was, it was okay. It wasn't bad. Right. I, I still think the, the London's opening ceremony and, you know, all the, and even the Beijing one from, you know, 2022 was crazy with all the, the, the arts and all the all the all mm-hmm. the um you know things that went in, the choreography and stuff that came into it. but you know this one was outdoors right this opening ceremony was outdoors so it was it was really weird how they they had this assassin's yeah. speed looking dude you know that's what the first thing i was thought like, why is this guy like i know he was a torchbearer but he had this <laughs> assassin's creed type outfit on and i'm like yo who's he killing who's he's gonna did he jump off the eiffel tower into a bale of hay yeah. i was waiting <laughs> for it but, like, dude this, this is, like, he's like he's like doing he's on rooftops and stuff like running around I'm like dude he's ready to like he's ready to he's i know he's carrying that torch or whatever and then it was really funny. Like you had random, the camera would like pan. Like I think the camera work could have probably been a little better, but it would pan. Like it would, it would strafe and stuff. And then you'd see like random people doing random dance moves. I'm like, why is this guy like clawing the air? Like what's going on? What, what does this have to do with the Olympics in France? It got you know? it got assassinated. It got assassinated on social media. Everybody's saying it's like the worst. Yeah, yeah intro I mean, to a, this Olympics in like all. Yeah, you know, I was also I saw a YouTube video. I think it may have been on uh, CNBC or it was Wall Street Journal, one of those you know big outlets. But they're like, this is how France got the cheapest. Like apparently, apparently the Olympics is a huge investment from the country's perspective. Yes. Right? Yeah. Apparently, this one is they saved money. Like they they actually had the, this is one of the cheapest Olympics in recent history. So I'm like, oh, huh, interesting. Maybe that's why the opening ceremony was like that. Like great, you know, they were able to host a you know, but there's more than just the opening ceremony. You're talking infrastructure and stuff like that. But the opening yeah, ceremony, yeah. very interesting. Uh, you know, got to watch some basketball the other day. Uh, yes. and swimming, Australia is killing it in swimming right now. I mean, as of the, this recording, so man, medal count. That's USA. Some sharks, are, some sharks are getting faster down there on the. On Yo, the coast. I'm telling you. <laughs> Thanks, I don't know what they're doing with Australia. Doing you know sharks, saying, but them bright, them bright whites are getting faster. So like we gotta, we gotta train harder. Yeah, Jeez, it's it's, it's funny. Yeah, it's the Olympics is, yeah, I'm a big Olympics fan. So I, me personally, I prefer Winter Olympics. I like the ski jumps and stuff like that. But Summer Olympics is always fun. Cool. Looking for looking forward to the basketball games. Um, me too. Looking forward to gymnastics and stuff like that as well, and, and track and field. Really, those, those are some of my favorites. I want to see. Uh, wasn't uh, Noah Lyles? Is his name? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. Man, that guy. I love it. He Hope has like cards, Yu-Gi-Oh man. cards. 
like, look, look. how did this nerd get to be this fast? I love it. <laughs> Brought it away from the bullies. Yeah, you can't exactly. hit me if I'm running. <laughs> so I, I love I've it. Been- I've been messing with my youngest son. So like when they were doing the qualifiers or whatever, he was pulling out the Yu-Gi-Oh cards and uh, I happened to be watching it one time. Like I was just flipping, I, I don't have cable, but I have Hulu live and I just happened to uh-huh. see the Olympic stuff and I was watching it and it was, it was his heat that he was in and I saw him pull out the card and I was like, Oh man, what's going on here? And apparently he had been doing it a couple of times before. Mm-hmm. So one of the cards he pulled out was blue eyes, white dragon or something like yeah. that. And I yeah. said, and so I mess with my son, who's eleven, right? And uh, every once in a while, I'll just I'll just stand next to him and I'm like, "Blue eyes, white dragon." He'd be like, "Dad!" Like I'm embarrassing him. Like we're in the house. He's like, "Dad, I'm dead." Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> just because he acts like that, I got to do it every chance I get now, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? That's but I, fair. That's I thought hilarious. it was kind of cool because he did that one, and then he mm. did uh because my son has all of these cards, Zodia, the something or other. Yeah, mm-hmm. five mm-hmm. Zodia. Like my son yep. has all of them and like he he was running his heat and he had two different ones right so i guess he planned on winning every heat and doing the whole body mm-hmm. or whatever you know what i mean hey. but yeah it was kind of cool yeah i'm, I'm a big awesome. fan of noah lyles he's 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 cool and who, who's the other there's another there's a football player as well who's kind of like that he he's wearing like the yeah, yeah. headband yeah yeah there's a, it's, it was. it's like there's a it's creeped up into mainstream it. yeah it's it's, yeah. it's it's creeped into main mainstream culture now so it's it's, it's yeah. fun yeah, for sure, for sure. But yeah, that that was my week. Pretty pretty light on the media end, but you know, looking forward to more Olympics action here. So everybody, hey, please like, share, subscribe. Trying to get to five hundred subscribers uh, by the end of July, which is like, if you're watching this, we're already out of July. So hopefully, we made it happen. <laughs> right, it's the Friday episode, so it'll be in August. But hopefully, we made it. Um, I don't know where the numbers are. I know last week we were, we were short by forty, but please come and come and subscribe to the show. Watch what we're doing out here. We're trying to. We're trying to help you out, you know, to let you know what's going on out there in the world and how much, even though you think it doesn't affect you, how much it really does, right? Like, so again, like, share, subscribe. When it comes to media this week, I did a couple things. I'm still in my, like documentary and like like chris i know you said before you like watching these things like snapped and stuff um, like that i started oh yeah. i started i started watching this one called killer relationships right so like these people are in relationships and then they end up they end up one of them ends up dead or both of them end up dead and or both of them like, commit the crime too it's yeah some, some crazy crime yeah it's crazy yeah, and I'm, I've, I've i've been on it and i'm like this is interesting right so uh been, been doing a little bit of that and i don't know why i'm like why am i so much into depth right now like i don't what's going on <laughs> i don't know it's a phase it is. maybe maybe it's lasting longer than it usually does so yeah i don't know <laughs> Um, and I also watched this. I watched this movie. It came up, and I never even heard anything about it. It's called Die Hard. It's that Kevin Hart, right? So it's Die Hard. Is like what die it is. Hard. Yeah, like Die Hard, but it's it's Kevin Hart playing Kevin Hart, trying to be an action star. So he's trying to get into being an action star guy. And look, check this out. So so John Travolta is in it, right? Now I'm gonna tell you something. Okay. Like, no, no matter what people think about Travolta, like this guy can be funny. Right? Have you guys ever seen from Paris with Love with John Travolta where he's yeah. the, the yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Like he's he's funny in that, right? Like even though he's like yeah. an action star, like he's funny. It's kind of the same way in this one because he's a uh, like an acting coach for ac- action stars. It's just it's just funny. Some of the stuff he says and does, I'm just like, oh gosh, like he, you've come a long way from from Battlefield, whatever it was, you know, that was like terrible. You know, Die Hard. I need to watch this. Die this sounds Hard. Good. Die Hard. That and sounds then, awesome, yeah. actually. And it's, it's actually there's actually a second one that I that I put in my queue. Like when I finished it, they showed a second one. I was like, all right, I'll watch that at some point too. It was kind of funny. It's not his best work, right? Because he's a, he's a comedian, right? So and he's not being very serious. But like, there's some stuff in here. You're just like, wow, okay. But yeah, it's it's it was an an interesting uh, story uh, for that one. Um, what else did I watch? Little stuff here and there. I still watching Modern Family. I still try to get that in. But yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty light. For me, I didn't watch. I didn't watch a lot of stuff this week either. Um, no games. Like I haven't played games in a long time. I keep like I have people that keep trying to get me to play uh, NCAA football because it came back after like a ten year mm. hiatus. And like you I wasn't got yeah. time for that. It's like, like I, yeah. it's so much. It's yeah. a lot. Like, these, but you got to be into the college game. Like, that. Yeah. like I watch college yeah. football, but yeah. I'm not into the game that that much. But yeah, people are like, oh, it's the best. You know what I mean? Blah blah blah. blah. And I'm just like, I don't know, man. I, it's not for me. I wasn't playing it even before it went up. It, it stopped being produced, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. So yeah. I, I'm, I'm probably not the fan you're looking for, right? And then, <laughs> like, I was I was disappointed in Madden last year, and the way it was was like college football was just Madden 
that year. You know what I mean? You'd see yeah, it a yeah. month before and you'd be like, okay, this is what Madden's going to be. But people swear. And I think it's nostalgia just kicking into them, right? Because they had that 10-year hiatus and it came back now. They're like, oh, this is going to be the best thing ever. You know what I mean? So, but uh, I know so they can, one thing. Yeah. Go ahead. They can Go ahead, fantasize Chris. about their college beating the college they'll never beat. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know? For sure. For sure. I'm interested and I'm, I'm, I'm going to look for it today. I want to see I want to see how Deadpool versus Wolverine is, is, I heard a lot of good is doing this weekend. Yeah. I want to watch it, yeah. I heard a lot yeah. of good things, yeah. It might be I'm worth definitely not going to see it the first I'm not gonna see it the first weekend. Like I, that was not no, gonna happen. I know. But I wanna, I wanna I love see myself. How I wouldn't go out yeah. there. It's too many people. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're, gonna, they're gonna be pushing you into the train, right? Trying to get you. Into oh the my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah. But no, I'm, I'm interested because like the the trailers, and I don't. I'm, I know Ryan doesn't watch the trailers, right? Because he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to see anything or whatever. But like, he's you, a smart you, man. You I don't do it. Yeah. I don't. I don't do it. It's those, those trailers look funny. To me, right? Like, yeah. trailers are on... low key spoilers to me. So I'm like, no, just let me know. Like, I don't want to watch this. I, I like my 10 <laughs> second trailers that have no information, right? I, I don't yep. want, I don't want any expectations going into a movie because, yep. you know, I don't want to be disappointed. So it's, it's weird. It's weird to me. So Hulu had this, uh, it was like Deadpool versus Wolverine, like special, special look thing. It was all of three minutes, right? And so they do a few highlights from, uh, what was it 2016, the first Deadpool, then 2018 for the second one. And then for the third one, they like have a couple scenes in there where I'm just like, oh, this is going to be, it's going to be funny. You know what I mean? The, mm. My thing, so here's my thing. Here's what I hope they don't do, right? Because it's kind of ruined it for me for the second one. I hope they don't do like constant fourth wall breaking. Like I know it's something yeah. that he does, like even talking out of the pains of the comic, right? Like he's yeah. like talking to you as the reader. But like in the second one, it just seemed like it was every five minutes. I'm like, all right, that's a bit It was much, too much. Right? I, yeah. I agree. I agree with you. Yeah. I'm in on the joke, but I don't want to be in on it every five minutes, right? So hopefully they don't do mm. too much of that. But it's expected, right? Like the Merc with the mouth, that's what he does, right? You know what I mean? Mm. So I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe actually, I don't know if I'll be able to see it next weekend either because you're going to be spending time with the family. But a uh, family kidding me from seeing good movies. I hate them. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. But uh, yeah, I want to. I, I want to try to. I want to try to catch it in the theater. Like I want the theater experience. But mm. yeah, this yeah. first weekend I was like, I'm not even going to attempt to go out there in the mm. madness and try to make that happen, you know? But yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it was, it was a decent week. I was tired all week too, man. Like it's, it's mm. kind of crazy. Like I come home and like, usually, you know, spend a little time with the kids and the wife or if there's an errand to run or whatever, but like I was going to bed early this week. I don't, I don't know what the, I don't know what the deal was, but uh, maybe I'm just getting old. I don't know. I don't have a birthday coming up or anything. <laughs> maybe it's, it's it's the half the half birthday or whatever. I don't know. Maybe if that's really a thing. I'm not even there yet. But yeah, I was just I felt old this week. It's just, it's crazy. My body was run down. But mm. yeah, but no, it was. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you guys had fairly decent weeks, Daniel. I mean, stay cool out there. You know what I mean? In in, in for Japan, real. You know what I mean? <laughs> Stay cool out there, man. Try not to have nobody stuff you in a train for you to never be seen again. You know. What I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but everybody, real, go watch those videos. Go watch that video. Yeah. Go watch those YouTube videos. For real, it's it's kind of crazy. I will. I yeah, it's, absolutely. I know it's crazy populated there, right? So, like before before I got stationed in Korea, like we had to watch the video where they were like, "Hey." Like, understand that there is no personal space, like, when you're in Korea, mm. you know what I mean, South Korea. Like, when you go to Seoul, like, they tell yeah. you in these videos, people will bump you. They won't say, excuse me, or anything like that. It is the way of life because so mm. it's so populated there. Tokyo is like that. Tokyo, I think they yeah. have the highest concentration of people in a certain amount of space in the world or something like yeah, that. Yeah, close, close to it. Yeah, yeah, close to it. It has to be. Yeah, maybe yeah. somewhere in India might have. You know, you know, something you know like that. India is number one. It's got to be. India is crazy. Yeah. Crazier. Yeah. It's but, scary. But I know I know Tokyo is very it's very densely populated in such a small area. Yeah. So like I can believe yeah. it. But I am gonna I'm gonna watch those videos and be like, oh, holy crap! <laughs> For, even if you know, even if I know that's the case, I'll probably be like, nah, man. Like I'll be like you. I'll be like, when, <laughs> when is the least traffic day? Saturday morning. Okay, that's when we're gonna, <laughs> that's when we're gonna make that trip. Yeah, like you told your wife. Yeah, you got yeah. I, you got me planning a Tokyo trip when or like a Japan trip one of these days. Like. It's like my no, come down. list. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Two, we'll be here to stay with us. Yeah. 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 I'll show you around. Stay with us for a little bit if you want. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah. But all right, everybody, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Hey, we appreciate your viewership. We appreciate uh, coming. We appreciate you liking, sharing, subscribing, right? And getting other people to do the same, right? We're trying to get to a goal. 
we're trying to get to a thousand by the end of the year. Hopefully we make it happen. If we didn't, if we didn't reach the 500, Hey, we still appreciate y'all. Uh, pre- mm-hmm. Appreciate your viewership. You coming in, listening to us, um, letting us help you. Let me help you. Right. Like Jerry Maguire, <laughs> help me help yeah. you. You know what I mean? But thank you guys for everything. See where you hear, you, you listen to your podcast, tune into this one, the other side of the firewall, the other side of the FW it's on all the socials, which I have none. Chris, where can they find you at? You can find me on LinkedIn under Chris Abacon, last name spelled A Bacon. And what about you, Daniel? Uh, LinkedIn as well, uh, Daniel Acevedo. All right, everybody, appreciate y'all. Stay safe, stay secure.